Like some people have success stories, but they're not the pursuit of happiness. You have to have a really strong sense of, you know, this is my life, this is what it is, but it's okay, and I'm still okay, even though I might not have a fucking thing. I, I got a lot to offer, even though I have nothing at all. Those are your pursuits of happiness. This is Turn here, and you're watching Terry Woods, true to the game. This is sort of where I started for me as far as when I started coming to New York and I started hustling out the trunk of my car. This is where I came. You know, the camera should zoom around and get a picture of the Mart 125 because that's where I would be. I would be right there and you could see the Apollo is right across the street from the Mart 125. So this is, and the reason why I would go to the Mart 125 is because my friend, his name's Blue. Blue had the jewelry store called Blackman's and he would hold my books for me. And you know, the guys out there would watch me and make sure that nothing was happening to me. And I could go outside and I could hustle. And I'd just be out here all day. And see, what happens is, you got the same people who be out here. So once everybody gets used to you, you know what I mean? Then people gonna start talking to you and they gonna start hanging out with you all day. You're gonna sell books. You're gonna sell books. Look, she got a book in her hand. She already got a book in her hand. She's gonna help me. If she ain't, she gonna remember my book. I would pick them out and I would be like, they know what this means. They know what true to the game means. Meaning I'm not gonna ask some chick who looks like she's really bougie and she's got her little day job and you know, oh my God, that's just so beneath me. No, nah, fuck you, I'm not bothering her. You keep moving. I'm not even gonna waste my time talking to you. Her, her with all that blonde hair, I show you her them coming, they gonna get my book. I could stand right out here and point to everybody who would support me right now. She was gonna give me $10, her right there. That girl right there would give me $10. I would be out here crying sometimes. And, and no, no, nobody buys your book in the beginning. Nobody supports you in the beginning. You have to, you have to keep after your pursuit of happiness. Nobody's gonna give you nothing. You know, and, and, and eventually what happened was you sold one book today. You only sold one book. There's only one person who will buy your book. But you sold that one book, that one book. And don't you know when you come back next weekend, you got 10 people looking for you. Oh my God, I heard about that. They're like so close knit. It looks really big, but New York City, we all know each other. Everybody knows everybody. Anyone that reads this book anywhere in America is going to get that inner city experience. Like, not even in America, anybody who reads this book in the world, it is an American lexicon because it takes you into the inner city. It gives you that whole entire experience and you feel like you're in the hood. Like you know the hood, like you are the hood. That's, I think, why it's so powerful because people really feel that. They feel like they're in a whole nother world with these characters. He, I'm trying to explain to him. Yeah, yeah. He, this is the thing, when I said to you, you got a lot of these guys who are reading me in jail mm -hmm. and they never read a book in their life. And I'm one of them dudes that she talking about. Yeah. I'm not with the books and all that, but I bust that book down. That's amazing for me. What That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, it's, it can't be about anything other than that. And be more careful. You know, the money's going to come. But there has to be a passion for what you're doing and there has to be that relationship. And, and if you have that, then nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. As long as you got that. That's right.